didn't know it was strange to be breastfed as a teenager because my mom homeschooled me until eighth grade. She groomed you. That's grooming. That's grooming. She could be arrested for that. Long snake that had sunk its teeth into my cucumber. Oh. YouTube won't stop age restricting me for the same sh everyone else reacts to. <laughs> so enjoy this repost. That was previously age restricted. A snake bit off my penis. Hey, I'm Hi. Benjamin. And even Hi, though Benjamin. I'm only 21 years old, I already know that I will stay a virgin for the rest of my life. <laughs> Let me explain you why. <sighs> that was such a ago, nasty way to introduce it, bro. Island. My family and I had just checked into our hotel. Okay. When I decided to go to toilet, I mean, we had just been off a 10 hour flight and I was bursting. Facts. So I sat down on the toilet with my headphones on, listening to music. Imagine listening to DMX while you're trying to take a poo. <coughs> I suddenly felt something pulling on my cucumber. My first reflex was to jump up and look down. Long snake that had sunk its teeth into my cucumber. Oh! Now, before I continue telling the story, please take a look at this image of a snake's mouth. Okay. It has dozens of sharp teeth that are hook-shaped, so yeah. they can hold on to their prey. They normally only eat mice, rats, or chipmunks. But my cucumber must have looked tasty or something. It probably looked like a rat. Yep, you have rat pee-pee. Once the snake had bitten into it, it didn't let go again. I started screaming and ran out of the toilet. <laughs> with the snake still holding on to my cucumber. A nigga when like I me with a snake on it, I'm yay, yeah, yeah. A whole bunch of turbulence. Everybody strap your seatbelt. Saw my mom, I screamed. Ah, help me! But my mom just started screaming too. And what didn't else is help she supposed to do? So, in the end, I tried to pull the snake's mouth open. But this made the snake bite down even harder. And that's oh when it happened. God. My ah! cucumber got ah! bitten off, and the ah! snake ah! swallowed four fifths of it. I knew I had to go to the hospital <laughs> ASAP. I found a taxi to get to a hospital. But the driver kept arguing how my blood was ruining his seats. Oh, wow. I got so angry, I used my left arm to pull him out of his own taxi while holding my cucumber with my right hand. <laughs> I had never driven a car before, but it wasn't that complicated. And after 20 minutes of- A nigga like me would've just pulled my, pulled my pants down and just start spraying him with that, with that- Ray goodness. Driving, I had found a hospital. When I ran into the lobby, I was covered in blood and screamed, Help! Help! When the nurses saw me, they immediately brought me into the emergency room. I still hoped that they could somehow save my cucumber, but the doctors just kept on asking me whether it was a poisonous snake or not. But, I mean, how was I supposed to know that? Well, yeah, you're, you're it took 20 done. hours of operating on me until the doctors hours? were able to fix my cucumber enough so that I could pee relatively normally into a toilet again. However, the doctors told me that I would never be able to make love to a woman again. And to make things worse, there were several TV crews outside my hospital room That's trying to interview the boy that had lost his cucumber. That's terrifying. I mean, seriously? Do you think I want to tell the whole world that my cucumber was bitten off by a snake while sitting on a toilet? Well, when I finally arrived back in the US, my girlfriend was waiting for me at the airport. And, ugh, we were both raised strictly Catholic and still virgins. Oh, Lord. We had planned to have our first time after we got married. But oh, Lord. now we had to tell her about my condition. Oh, we Lord. We sat down at an ice cream cafe. Hey, what's up, Nick? And oh. I'm not joking, but she ordered herself a banana split. I waited until she was finished eating, and then I told her the news. I told her how I had lost my cucumber on my trip to Thailand. Yep, we're done. Yeah, no cook, no service. I expected her to feel sorry for me or something, but she just said she wanted to take a look at it in the bathroom. And well, when I showed it to her, she started laughing so hard that tears were running down her face. I would have to admit that her reaction. I would have. I would have. She was probably laughing because she's like, oh, it looks the same size. <laughs> <laughs> Not much has changed. <laughs> Action completely destroyed the little confidence that I had left. After she had calmed down, I asked her if she was okay with the fact that I would never be able to make love with her. At least not in the conventional way. Luckily, she said she didn't mind. But the next day, when I asked her to go out, she said she was busy. And afterwards, she completely stopped responding to my messages. Damn. I have to tell you, 
It hurts to be rejected because of your body. Damn. Because of something you have no control over and that you can't change. I felt like such a loser. <laughs> I thought I would- Are you serious right now, bro? Never be able to satisfy any girlfriend I had. And that's why there's I toys, man. I was so insecure that whenever a girl started talking to me, I ended the conversation as quickly as possible. I didn't want a new girlfriend that because does sound I was terrifying, scared of having though. to tell her that about my embarrassing so scary. condition. But after six months, two guys came up to me at college. <laughs> they were both laughing and asked me if a snake had really bitten off my cucumber. And I started blushing so hard that I basically admitted that it was true. It turns out that my ex, Sneak hit in the Gangnam Style, bro. ex got drunk at a college party and told everyone about my accident in Thailand. Wow. And from then onwards, everyone at my college called me Miss P because I had a missing... Wow. Uh, you know what. For the next three years, I basically stopped talking to girls <laughs> and instead completely focused on college. I think you're like a Twitch streamer or something, bro. It <laughs> could never be me. <laughs> I think I wanted to get straight A's to compensate for what I was lacking, <laughs> but I just grew more and more frustrated. And I came to the conclusion that if lesbians make it work, that I can make it work too. Yes, sir! And that's sir. when I decided to start dating again. And I met my current girlfriend, Suzanne, at a college party. It took me five dates with her to work up the courage to tell her about my condition. And luckily, she wasn't creeped out or anything. Yeah, she I just mean, she getting dangling on the side. Giggled a bit, but... I can deal with that. And since meeting her, I realized that even though I lost my cucumber, yeah. I can still make her happy. Yeah. I mean, lesbians can make each other happy too. They so use in the, toys. In the end, I'm grateful that my old girlfriend broke up with me. And for toys. otherwise, I would have never met Suzanne. And I can't tell you how much I love her. She is much nicer than my ex. In fact, two months ago, I had a very important homework assignment in my yeah. college economics course. Yeah. I was supposed to write 5,000 words about the dual system theory. But I was down with a cold and spent my whole weekend laying in bed with high temperature. You can't get sick and not have a p at the same time. You need to pick, you need to pick struggle. <laughs> then my girlfriend gave me a stack of papers. She had done my homework for me. I can't tell you how grateful <laughs> I was. And since then... I've helped her several times with her homework. W because girlfriend. I want to make sure I always she give better than me. more than I take. She's so much better than me, man. We need more people like that in life. I am breastfed at 16. Hey, I'm Chris. And Hi, I've Chris. always been very close with my mom. Not really. I guess it's because my dad left us when I was a baby. W father. Ever since, our favorite activity was her <laughs> breastfeeding. Activity. Our favorite activity is insane. 10th birthday. She asked me if I wanted to stop doing it. I was shocked and started crying because I Tim? loved drinking my mom's milk. Okay, bro. It tastes much better than cow milk. Okay, because bro. Because even though it starts off a bit watery, after a few seconds, it gets really creamy. Yum. Okay. That's why I told her I would never stop drinking her milk. And to this day, every morning and every evening, my mom comes into my room to breastfeed me. Okay. okay. The only weird thing is that I'm 16. The only weird thing? The only? I think it was weird when you said 10. In fact, I think it's weird after like, what, eight, nine months, right? Something like that? I didn't know it was strange to be breastfed as a teenager because my mom homeschooled me until eighth grade. She would groomed you. She groomed you. That's grooming. That's grooming. She could be arrested for that. After that, I went to a public school. And when I asked one of my classmates if he'd rather drink milk from a cow or from his mom, he started laughing because he thought I was making a joke. But I don't think it's something to laugh about. I mean, what's wrong about being breastfed as a teenager? Is this nigga serious? It tastes amazing. There are lots of health benefits, and I have a really close relationship with my mom because of it. I'm sure you do. The only thing I wish is that my mom was less overprotective and less involved in my life. What, uh, what else does she have you sucking on? Bend over and I'll show you. I'm very concerned about you, bud. I often feel like I'm living in a bubble. Like, she won't let me play soccer with my classmates because she is worried about me being injured. And when I meet up with friends at a mall, she wears a wig and follows us wherever we go <laughs> to make sure I'm safe. Swiper, it's no super swiping. Annoying, but most of the time, she doesn't allow me to go outside at all. She says it's for my own safety, but I think she's just jealous when I'm hanging out with my friends because she doesn't have any friends herself. Damn. And if I should ever get a girlfriend, my mom would probably go crazy and try to destroy our relationship because I don't think- <gasps> Mommy, Matt, you have a new breastfeeder. <laughs> I don't think she could handle sharing her son with another woman. But isn't it a normal part of life to become independent of your parents? To move out and start your own life and your own family? Yeah. Well, I know it will break my mom's heart, 
but as soon as I go to college, I will move out of her place. I haven't told her yet, but I already made the decision. Her style of parenting already made me become the weird kid in school. Good. Because whenever something happens that I don't like, I just start crying or screaming. I know it's immature. At I can't 16? Help it. My emotions just take over. At 16? Like one time a classmate of mine took a potato from my plate and ate it. He knew I would get upset about it. But he probably didn't expect what I did next. What did you do? I got so mad that I threw the rest of my plate into his face <laughs> and then I started Yo. screaming as loud as I could in the middle of our cafeteria. Is he mentally, mentally Ill? Ill? That might just be because of your mother. Your mother raised you to not, to not be mentally efficient. Cause that's actually insane. It took me a few seconds to realize that I had embarrassed myself in front of my whole school. It was the most pathetic moment in my life. I think sucking your mom's breasts until you were 16 was more pathetic to me personally. And now everybody thinks that I'm a complete weirdo. I actually blame my mom for me being so immature. She homeschooled me until I was 14, and I never had any other kids to play with, so I never learned the rules of how to interact with other people. I guess she is scared of losing me and wants me to stay immature, so that I'll never move out of her home. Damn. That's why I recently told her I wanted to join the military. I told you, she's grooming your ass. I was just joking. She grooming your ass. She almost had a heart attack and started begging me not to do it. She said it's too dangerous for a little boy like me. I wouldn't beg my son not to be in the military, but I'll, I'll look him dead in his eye and be like, Nick, be serious. I raised you to have so many other opportunities and everything else in life, and, and you want to choose the military. Nick, are you my kid? <laughs> I got angry and wanted to tell her I'm not a little boy anymore, but then she offered me to play hide and seek again, just like in the old times. It's a game where my mom hides somewhere inside our house, and once I find her, I can drink her milk as a reward. We hadn't played this game in years, so I got really excited, and we ended up playing for hours. It felt so good and comforting, because it was just like in the old times. But afterward, I realized my mom had tricked me into being a little boy again. It's all a part of our selfish plan to keep me immature. Anyways, for the next two years, I will continue to live with my mom, and I'm not planning to stop breastfeeding anytime soon. I simply enjoy it too much. But I do know that at some point, I need to grow up and become independent of my mom. He said he's gonna suck his mama's tatas until he's 18. Because right now, I'm a pathetic weasel that can't even take care of himself. So if I ever want to have a wife and kids, I first need to become a mature and reliable man. How dead do you think her nipples looked after being sucked for 18, 16 years, bro? Her nipples are probably like smushed in cat. I, I, I'm, I'm disgusted. I, I, I want to cry. My dad's girlfriend is younger than me. She's 15 years old, by the way. What did you say, Nick? Hey, I'm Jessica, and three weeks I'm ago, lying. my dad I don't told know how me she I is. found a new girlfriend named Jen. I was so excited for him because after my parents' divorce, he was really depressed. So it was about time he moved on and found new happiness. But then he dropped a huge bombshell. He said Jenny was moving in with us because she couldn't afford to pay rent while she was going to college. That sounds like a my horrible idea. What? College? I asked my dad how old Jenny was. He said 21. 21? You know, that's not that bad. You know, the, that's a ripe age right there, man. Your dad must be a billionaire. Okay, because that's what the billionaires go for. <laughs> As Leonardo DiCaprio. And I'm 23. What kind of dad wants to date a girl younger than his own daughter? Maybe he imagines the girl is his daughter. Have you ever thought about that? I was so creeped out, but I didn't say anything. I mean, who am I to tell my dad how he should live his life? The next day, Jenny arrived at our home with a big suitcase. My dad opened the door and they immediately started kissing. Wait, 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 my wait, 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 Father, what, what the f*** are you doing? I was with you, bro. I was with you. After they had finished, Jenny took a Jenny look at Jenny over there putting her said, middle finger in yeah, places that I shouldn't be on. I guess it's okay for now. Don't what? put the pinky in the stinky, okay? Oh, what a bitch. And the next day while eating dinner, she told me, I'm so glad your dad takes care of me. I could never have a job while going to school. So College she's a, is really hard, you She's know? a sugar mom. Oh, jeez. This made me angry because when i went to college my dad made me get a part-time job damn he insisted i pay him rent damn he said it was character building i never complained because i knew my dad had lots of debt and i wanted to make things easier for him 
But then Jenny started talking about how my dad bought her a new $15,000 car. And that's when I lost all respect. I'll be damned if uh, I buy her a car. You better go sell some money. My dad. Couldn't he see that she was only using him for his money? She was rude. Is there a problem, my nigga? Self-absorbed and selfish. I wish my dad would see what she was really like and leave her, but it soon became clear that she was going to stay. For example, she's always asking my dad to take her to Hawaii. She's she the daughter that she never he never had. In the world and it would be really romantic, but I know she only wants to take pictures. It's for the her daughter Instagram. she's never had. Then there was the time she wore my shirt. I wanted to slap her, but I managed to stay polite. I told her, "That's my shirt. Wear it today if you would like." but I need it back and please wash it. You're not wearing really my clothes. But she just laughed and said, this old rag? I should have guessed it was yours. Your dad would never buy me something so cheap. Ugh. She hates me just as much as I hate her. Be on her. Why do you act like that? And I'm pretty certain she y'all Y'all would not understand the amount of problems that would be fixed with pit. You threaten someone with pee, they will leave you alone or beat you up, but the problem is going to be resolved one way or another. Who too? The really nice, expensive stuff I order online? She behaves as if my dad's apartment is hers. And maybe it is. It might just I be. I mean, why am I still living here anyway? My job pays me enough to get my own place. Yeah, that Naruto wallet. doesn't wallet. have time for me anymore. So maybe I'm just... The annoying adult daughter who yep. won't move out of her dad's home. Yep. Maybe Jenny would be nicer if I wasn't living here anymore. Well, that's why I'm searching for my own apartment now. Moral of the story, the dad didn't is treating you wrong because you didn't let him hit. I shouldn't talk to her.